2604 Tam. This is a great little neighborhood. Not quite Dogtown neighborhood, but you'll notice nice houses down the block and on the street. We have a long-term rental up the street for 1250. That is pretty much this exact same layout. So let me walk you through. Nice finishes. There's a few things to be aware of, but for the most part, this is in great shape at a decent price for this neighborhood right now. Yellow door, it's kind of cute. They just have some minor staging things that they're working on here. I'll walk you through. It's quite a small place, but two bed, one bath, well done in this neighborhood is a real attribute. Nice size closet off of the entryway. You can see the floors are a little worse for wear in here just due to, um, I mean, this is, this, this is rug material to me. Not quite uh, needing to refinish this immediately. It's rent out or for any other reason, for all intents and purposes, it's pretty nice as is. The rest of the floors, besides this major walkway here, are in better shape including the bedrooms, which are a decent size. This is the smaller of the two bedrooms off of the main living entryway. And then I'll back you back into the bedroom towards the front. It's actually the larger of the two. Looks like a queen size bed. Actually, that might be a full but I think it would support a queen and possibly a king if you wanted to squeeze in there. <laughs> but for short-term vacation rentals, queen in this room, queen in the other room if you can fit it. Now there's some um, nice things to write home about in the bathroom. They've done a nice job updating this with tile surround. Decent paint job. Wouldn't have to redo it, even though it's not the best best choice. But it does take away from the fact that the floors are a little older, dated tile. Hmm. Floor warming system. That's kind of neat. I guess underneath this dated tile is some sort of system that's supposed to warm the tiles. It says it's on max. I don't see any light on it. I wouldn't be surprised if that does not work. Anyway, I don't know if I gave you the full scale of the living room as you walk in from the entry, but it's not really living room dining, possibly. If you wanted to bring the dining room up this way, not really, it's mostly a living room. You have to well place some things there is somewhat of a dine-in here you can see it's almost worth calling a dine-in this fridge looks worse for wear some uh little kid hand punches and things in here anyway the backsplash and the kitchen's in nice shape we've got uh not a granite countertop, it's one of those faux, but it's really not in terrible shape. But it wasn't put down well. You're not supposed to be able to lift it up like that. So, not the best install on this. They're older appliances. It would almost appear someone's living here. I thought that it was staged this way. But anyway, it's a nice size. I mean, they're not terribly old appliances. They more or less can stay until one of them goes out. The one thing that I imagine is gonna need to be replaced is the HVAC unit out here. Obviously, it's an older model looks like 60s <laughs> possibly quite a bit older and any of these older ones are running R22 and will need a replacement 
2022. So that'll need a replacement, not immediately, but the repairs on it will get more and more expensive as time goes on. With this hill in the backyard, some cool. I mean, it's gonna be a headache for the lawnmower, but that should be nothing to worry about. What I did worry about is with that hill being the way that it is, is where does the water collect? But luckily, somebody diverted it at some point. It probably pools up right here quite a bit. But I don't think it's affecting the house, which is good. All right. I'll show you the basement just for the simple fact that it's partially finished, could be done something with, probably was. You can see these old 70s style tiles down in the basement that have not been fully pulled up because they may be asbestos. But I don't see any cracks, any substantial. You can see there's old things that have been filled in here. Some drywall things. Looks like this. This is... Well, it's secure. It's just kind of at a weird angle. Um, but you can see they started to put up drywall around here so that they could do something with this basement, which isn't a bad idea. Um, but since they started, you know, you might be able to squeeze out, calling this a livable space down here if you're going to go short-term vacation rental or even long-term somebody would appreciate that extra space. It just doesn't have egress, so you'd never be able to truly call it uh, a third bedroom, if that's what you were hoping. But, otherwise, at this price, we had a client just buy one down the street that is renting out for twelve fifty, and that was good enough for them, but I think we could uh, short-term vacation rental this one pretty easily. That's the gist of it. Let me know if you've got any questions or need any... MLS information, I'll pull up everything I can and get it your way if you're interested. Thanks.